Easy peeps, so welcome back to another episode of Started From The Bottom, The Road To Glory. How are we all doing? Hope everyone is okay. Before we go any further, my friends, if you could hit a thumbs up on the video, that would be greatly, greatly appreciated. It would, thank you. Right, before we get into rewards, just going to show you a few items that have sold just in the last couple of hours or so. This is just from opening packs via the League SBC method and all of these are just duplicates. So basically rather than trying to, you know, hoard them on the trade pile because we've got a hell of a lot of 84s and 83s on the trade pile. We're just selling them off so that we can get some cash in in case we need to buy some players. But like I've said, the uh, League SBCs are slowing up a little bit. Because the Xbox market compared to PlayStation is quite low on players and some silvers are going for an absolute bounty. So I'm refusing to buy it. I'm, I'm refusing to buy them. So we're just hoping that our pack luck will be there with the upgrades and stuff like that. Unfortunately, it's not at the moment. So it's, it's kind of took a little bit of a standstill, but we'll get there. We're still rinsing a few here and there. We will definitely, definitely get there. Right then, rewards day. Now, because you can't tell the difference between an untradeable and a tradable pack in the store. Please, please have that for FIFA 20. Uh, and then yesterday, if you will see, we accidentally opened a tradable 50k pack instead of the untradable 50k pack. We're going to take coins. Now, the reason we're going to take coins for arrivals is that reason. And another one gives us some extra coins for team of the season. But mainly because I can't tell which is untradable and tradable. And I want to try and keep as many tradable packs or team of the season as possible because the chances of us packing a tots is quite remote so at least we can try and get some coins out of it if we're waiting all of this time and they're untradeable packs it will completely take the sting out of it and i know we've got a few in there as it is but i want to try and keep the majority as tradables so that's put us over over just under you know just under 1.1 and now we've got Foot Champions, last week Foot Champions Friday and Saturday was an absolute mess and coincidentally everybody said it, most content creators just, they couldn't believe how much of a mess it was so I'm, I feel a little bit justified that it wasn't just me, you know, appearing salty, it was a mess and everybody in the comments said it was a mess as well, there isn't one person that said it's good apart from Jimmy usually get two wins a week and then this week he got 27 but that's okay everybody's allowed a weekend to shine hopefully this will be our weekend league but through that mess comes this team of the week which is an absolute trash bag it is an absolute mess so we can hope for a, we can hope for a good player we can hope for a 92 or black fingers crossed in our first one we do get something decent i'll take anything above an 86 please ea Please give us that beautiful goodness. We'll take our black. We'll take Robertson. We would love it. Just give us something decent. We need some high rated cards so we can start banging them into some icon SBCs. Come on. That's okay. That's okay. That's just the first pack. So we get an 83 rated player. Obviously, we only finished gold one. We can't expect too much. There's, you know, the 88s and the 89s and the 92s. They're all reserved for everybody to get silver ones. So we can't expect to get something good on gold one. But come on then. The last one. Can we get over at least an 86 rated player? But I'd love Robertson. I'd love Robertson. Can we... We get an 86. We get an 86. We've also got Wilson in there as well. Honestly, though, looking at this card, I don't think anybody at this stage of FIFA is going to play with his card, even for a mess around. It doesn't look good whatsoever. So we won't be taking that, obviously. We're going to go with the 86 rated. And that, for our, we're going to save the packs for Tots. But that, for our whole weekend of effort, an 86 and an 83 rated player hard man it is hard doing stuff on fifa this year because they're not rewarding the people that are playing the game in terms of actually playing the game oh please we need something different for fifa 20 man we need rewards for people that actually play this game talking of rewards foot swap was delayed from yesterday so we do eventually get the new foot swap loads of people are saying it was delayed because might the original one might have been leaked a few people have even said it might have been because casillas might have been a player on there and they just wanted to show respect which either way it doesn't matter it is here now so 
14 foot swaps, we get a free one. So we've got 13 to collect over the course of May. Now remember, May is top month. So come the end of May, do some of these things hold up at the end of May. I'm not too sure. I am not too sure. Uh, before we go and have a look at what is available for foot swap, we do have a new one via an SBC. And to kick off for the first SBC overall, this is a little bit expensive. It is a little bit expensive. We will do it at the end of the episode. But you do need one England player, uh, rating a 77, so it's practically all golds. You're going to have to use, so if you're doing League SBC, you're probably going to have to use a few players from Premier League just to get your chemistry up. Quite an expensive one, really. It doesn't look it on face value, but it's rinsing a good batch of 11 cards. If you can use an off league, which I'll show you, I'll show you at the end of the video, like Russia or something like that, that will help in terms of doing the league SBCs. And they've also given us marquee matchups, which don't require, re you know, any, any teams really. You just need uh, Monaco or Ass. <laughs> um, but you only need one between them. So you, there's not really a team that's going to get you loads of money this week but we might go through that i don't know but again is it worth rinsing is it worth rinsing players and stuff? i don't know we might have a look at it because it, we need some silvers in the team man we need some silvers in the club right then so on to foot swap uh as regards the 80 plus one not touching that that is a coin sink 100 so on to foot swap you get one jumbo gold pack for one two premium gold players pack which isn't too bad and then we get our first in in form which is that is that baiting you into getting it for the for a league one player of the year who knows who knows a rare mega pack and then the first meeting form for five foot swap items which is quite good value for money is the 88 rated version of hock and tell all which isn't bad like um one of the most desirable right back obviously is one to watch would be better because that's the 89 rated but how long will it take us to get five two weeks a week and a bit we've already got two if you do the sbc you're probably going to get one on squad battle so that's at least another week so we're probably looking at tots will be released by the time you can get either of these two informs now uh, the rodriguez really isn't a playable inform that's more of a rating inform of 91 rated or whether you want to bang that into an SBC. So I quite like the look of those two from a rating perspective. An 88 rated inform and a 91 rated inform for doing the Van Dyke player of the year, the do doing the informs from the last month's foot swap really helped us. Um, and it's a shame that they've kind of manipulated it again because if you look at it, you can't get three informs again this, this month. They've, they've, they've done it a little bit dirty. Now in terms of the big boy players for usable players this month we've got 12 foot swaps gets you an 88 rated center back kyle walker and 14 gets you a 93 striker suarez two brilliant cards fantastic cards but will these still look fantastic cards at the end of may after most of tots is probably done i, I don't know is it is it worth it is it worth it and then the big boy is a base icon which Judging by how many people got really dodgy base icons last month, if you're falling for this again this month, you probably need your head looking at a little bit. Because I don't think I've seen one person get a usable base icon. But I'm playing loads of teams that are playing like an 85 rated base icon in midfield and they're struggling. They're struggling. So I don't know. It, it might be worth doing the base icon. It's a shame it's not a middle icon. That would have been nice for this month. Because you have to remember, by the time the end of May comes, we're going to be heavy into tots. Tots might even be done and dusted by then. Uh, the game might even be done and dusted by then. So I don't know. I was just expecting a little bit more. But overall, I think we're going to shoot for the informs again. Let me know in the comment section below what you think looks good. I like the look of Walker. Decent centre-back as well. But will it still be a decent centre-back at the end of the May? That's the question. So the foot swap SBC for today is done and dusted. We're going to use five players from Premier League, which I didn't really want to use, but I needed to use them for chemistry. And then we'll use off leagues from League SBCs just to get the other players and fill them up. And then we get our third foot swap. So we're already on day one, technically day two. We get our third foot swap and... 
we could get an inform straight away if we wanted, but we're not going to. I think we're going to wait for Cancelo and Rodriguez and do them that way. So that is it for today's video. Let me know below what you want to do for foot swap. Are you going to go base icon again? Are you going to hold out for Walker? Are you going to get 93 Luis Suarez? Or are you going to go down the inform route? Or you're just not going to bother because you don't play FIFA anymore. Whatever it is, let me know in the comment section below. But that is it for today's video. We are out of here, my friends. Thanks for watching. Catch you in a bit.